Let's talk about the five best investments for 2023. Okay, this is not gonna be no typical like, oh, invest in these stocks right here. This is legit. What I personally think is the best five investments you can make in 2023. You wanna level up? You wanna be better, get better? I got you. It doesn't matter what age or how successful you are. There's gonna be at least one on this list of five that you're gonna truly appreciate. So make sure you guys hit that like button because this video is gonna be fantastic. Let's go. Number one on the list, start your business. I'm tired of you guys and girls just talking about it. Oh, I'm gonna start my business tomorrow. I'm gonna start my business next year. There's no better way to learn when you're actually in it. You can only be so prepared. Like, what is it that you wanna start? Do you wanna start that e-commerce business? The videography, photography business? YouTube business? Clothing brand business? It's time to follow your passion. Now, I'm not telling you to quit your job entirely. Obviously, keep your day job. This passion of yours, learn it, grow it every day, and eventually you'll be able to quit your day job. That's the goal, that's the plan. I think the main thing is you wanna achieve financial independence. You wanna be able to control your lifestyle and your schedule because how hard you work will determine how much money you make, how much income you generate. From what I learned is that when I wanna start a business, I just go for it and I learn along the way. It doesn't matter if you're gonna fail. I don't believe in failure unless you actually quit. Let me share a business that I did a couple years ago. I wanted to create my own music festival. A lot of the OGs know about this. I called it No Hezzy Fest. I booked a bunch of DJs, artists, hip hop artists, rented out a venue, did promo, marketing, all that, but I learned so many things along the way. It was like a six month project. At the end of the day, I only generated about $2,000 profit after all expenses. And I realized like, man, this is not something that I'm passionate about. I thought I was, I really love music, but this is not something that I'm passionate about. But the most important thing is that I tried, I attempted, I gave it my all. I gained so many connections along the way, but I realized it wasn't my thing. The worst thing you can do is have regret for not trying to do something that you want to do. Then I started another business it's called No Hezzy Apparel. Now this business is a passion of mine because I'm into fashion. I'm into streetwear. But in the beginning, I did not know how to do anything. I had to learn. I had to learn how to contact suppliers and vendors, customer service, promo, marketing, quality of materials, trial and error. And I still have no Hezzy apparel till this day, six plus years. So that's a perfect example of going into it, not knowing exactly what to do, but learning along the way. And six years later, still got the business. So no matter what it is, whatever business you want to try, just do it. Don't be afraid to fail. You're going to learn so many things along the way. And that's the best way to learn. The number two best investment you can make in 2023, invest in a startup. Kind of goes back to number one, but you're investing in somebody else's startup business. For your investment, you'll get a percentage of their company. I like to invest in five to seven startups per year, but invest in a startup business that you truly believe in. Make sure you research what is their mission, what is their vision, how is their team. If everything checks off on the list and you truly believe in this startup business, invest. I have one in particular where I just invested said $5,000 and I said this in another video before and in six months that 5,000 turned into like a hundred plus thousand dollars because the company went public etc it doesn't require you to invest a lot obviously the more you invest the bigger the return a great way to get started to angel invest is you could go to startengine.com remember this video isn't sponsored I'm just trying to help y'all out you browse through star engine uh, there's so many startups that you can invest in with all their information you just pick the one where you feel most comfortable and make sure you do your research. The beauty about angel investing is you never know which startup company is gonna hit and have a fantastic exit. For example, one of the startups I invested in uh, is called Rentberry. Please do your own research. I'm not telling you to invest in them. Rentberry is a cloud-based property management software designed to help real estate businesses streamline the entire rental process from applications to agreement signings on their website or on their app landlords can publish vacant properties. It's basically a platform to make it super efficient with the click of a button. You can get approved and the property is yours. To me, this is, this is something special. Anyway, research, research, research. Only invest in the one that you truly believe in. Number three on the list, stocks. Now, I'm not going to tell you which stocks to invest in, but Everything is on sale. We're in a recession, as we know, but the companies that you truly believe in, the, the solidified companies, okay? Apple, Amazon, invest, and if you hold it long-term, you can accumulate a lot of money. But do your own research on which companies that you want to invest in in the stock market. 
when it comes to crypto, I wanna talk about the top cryptocurrencies because they are solidified and I don't trust altcoins, okay? I'd rather play it safe, okay? Even though cryptocurrency is never safe, I'm not saying it's safe. I'm not saying any of this is safe. Invest in stocks at your own risk. That's why you do your own research and make sure it's money that you know that you can lose. Value can go down. But in the crypto space, it's very volatile. Bitcoin at its highest last year, November, if I remember, was right under 70,000. And we know, statistically, history shows that Bitcoin always has a new high. Right now, Bitcoin's price is around 17 grand, 18 grand, right under 18 grand. When Bitcoin hits a new high, which it will, but that's if the feds regulate crypto, it's gonna surpass 70,000. There's people that say Bitcoin is gonna hit 100,000 next year. 250, by 2030, it could possibly be over a million dollars. Now this is all speculation, obviously, but you never no. And with Ethereum being at $1,300 or so, 1,200, at its highest was about 4,000, 4,500. Ethereum might hit over 10 grand, 12, 15, 20. The professionals are saying it might surpass Bitcoin. But all I'm saying is what I'm doing is I'm dollar cost averaging. I got a lot of Ethereum. I got a lot of Bitcoin. And I'm waiting for the next bull market because what I believe, this is not advice, okay? But what I believe is I think Bitcoin's gonna hit over $500,000 in a mill for sure. And Ethereum is gonna be over six figures. But in terms of timetable, only God knows. Now I can't stress this enough as well, I wanna add this to the stock list. Also invest in a Roth IRA retirement account. Very important, the younger you start, the better, the more you accumulate, the more you compound over the years. I wish I would've started a Roth IRA, a retirement account when I was younger, but I didn't have the knowledge, I wasn't educated. I said this multiple times in other videos. For example, if you start at 20 years old, you do a maximum contribution of $6,000 per year or less with a 7% annual return from 20 years old to 59 years old. By the time you're 59 years old, you'll have about $1.5 million. Now this is just ballpark, this is not exact, but $1.5 million tax-free. All you young ladies and gents watching right now, Look into a Roth IRA, start that retirement account, invest in some index funds. That way you have a piece of big companies and it's usually a safer return. Let's go, let's go. Number four, education. If you don't know anything, you're not gonna make money. You have to be willing to learn. You have to be willing to educate yourself. Watch podcasts, read books, research. Give yourself a couple hours a day to educate yourself, to learn new skills. You're not gonna be able to obtain the things that you want and do the things that you want without education. The more you learn, the more you earn. I said this before, invest in some mastermind classes where they have successful people there teaching you their ways. You can learn a lot in those sessions. Maybe invest in a mentor. Mentor. You can meet a mentor. You can meet somebody at a car show. You go to a supercar event, Cars and Coffee in San Clemente, find someone with a nice car, and you introduce yourself. You tell them what you're trying to do, and you will pay them for their time. If you don't have the money to invest for their time, for them to teach you for an hour a week, you can always provide value in other ways in terms like, hey, I will be an intern, I will be an assistant, and I will work for you for free. This is a beautiful way where you can learn so many things just for working for free for this person, this mentor. There's so many ways about it, but education is very important in 2023. Please learn more, read more, do more, network more. Get yourself out there. Read as many books as you can. I'm not talking about the fictional books, I'm talking about investment books, how to close deals, sales, whatever the case may be. Whatever you're interested in, real life books that teach you something about finance, about bettering yourself as a human being. Do me a favor, at least read 10 plus books this year. And number five for the best investment you can make in 2023 is your health. This is not talked about a lot. Everyone's always talking about like, oh, invest in this stock, oh, do this. But this is by far the most important, most crucial, most essential investment you can make for your life. Because great health is great wealth. It starts with your mind. Start practicing meditation. Be more zen. Be more in tune with yourself. Meditation helps with a lot of things. Helps with creativity, energy, and just being really in tune with yourself. Being able to control your emotions more. Take care of your body, your physical body. Go to the gym. If you don't want to go to the gym, if you don't want to lift weights, go walk around, go play sport, go play soccer, go play basketball. At least give me 40 plus minutes per day. And when you exercise, it is good for the body. It is good for stress. It is great for productivity. Productivity? <laughs> Whatever, you know what I mean. It's great for anxiety, depression, to think clearly, to just be more healthier. 
cardiovascular, get your BMI down. There are a lot of successful people on paper that make a lot of money that are not taking care of their health and their mind. My workout plan is Monday through Friday. Mondays, I'm hitting legs. Tuesday, I'm doing chest. Wednesday, I'm working out back, okay? Working out my backs, my lats. Thursday, I'm working out my shoulders, okay? Friday, I'm working out my arms, triceps, biceps. Monday through Friday, sometimes I'm playing basketball after the workout, sometimes I'm doing cardio. Do something active. It will change your life. You wanna be built strong to last long. While you're investing in your health and taking care of your physical and your mental, make sure you're eating the proper foods as well. Reduce getting diseases and sicknesses and cancers. I said this plenty of times before in other videos, but I'm gonna keep stressing it because I care about y'all and I want you to make sure you guys are good. Stop with the fast food, okay? You can have it every now and then, okay? You can have a little In-N-Out burger every now and then, but make sure you are getting all your nutrients through your foods, okay? You are what you eat. Make sure you have your fibers every day so you can poop protein to build muscle, some carbs, because they work hand in hand, your veggies, your superfoods, okay? There's food out there in the world, superfoods, for example, that can cure a lot of stuff. Since we're on the subject of health, I want y'all to really give more than you receive this year. Whatever it is, a, an extra dollar, a helping hand, an extra compliment, that will help make their lives better. It really, really goes a long way. Obviously, the more you give, the more you receive, but never expect anything back. Just keep giving, 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 and leading by example. In terms of your relationships, family, friends, significant other, husband, wife, treat everybody with love and respect. Continue to work on yourself to be a better person for not only yourself, but for other people. You know, since another year is going by, it just reminds me of how fast time is going, how fast life really is. Our loved ones by our sides, let's continue to cherish these moments, build memories, spend time with your loved ones. Just be the very best person that you can be. And I promise you, an abundance of wealth, rewards, is gonna come your way. This list that I gave you are truly, what I truly believe are the five best investments you can make in 2023. And I hope you consider it. And I just wanna let you guys and girls know that everything is perfect in the world. The mountain, the hills, the birds, the animals. 99.9% .9 of the things that we stress about are man-made. So remember that. Enjoy this life, enjoy the journey, enjoy the people around you. Boys and girls, men and women, time to kill this 2023. Let's go. You tell me I'm something you need. But baby, you know that I'm bad for you, yeah. Why you gotta be so naive? If I treat you like one I don't want Then you know I'm just so hard to please I lie to your face to get what I want, babe